go. Got a few Edelbrock intakes laid out here. A little visual of the evolution of the single plane intake from Edelbrock. Here on the end, we got your classic Edelbrock Torker. This was the first small block Chevy single plane intake. I think it came about 6970 era. They had a tarantula that looked just like it, but it was allegedly this was 2500 to 6500 RPM range, and the tarantula was. 3500 to 7500 so but they look pretty much the same and they come out about the same time these old torquers are better than people give them credit for these days I've seen them on intake comparisons on dynos and shit running numerous intakes across the same engine these old torquers match the horsepower of a performer RPM. And the RPM had a little more low end torque, of course, being a dual plane, but these things work up to 450 horse or so. They used that for a few years. And then Holly stepped up with their shit. About 75, 76, Holly come out with their strip dominator and it made Edelbrock look stupid. Edelbrock didn't have nothing that could compete. So they went back to the drawing board and come out with the Scorpion. That was supposed to be a full race intake. Like advertised it 4500 to 8500 it's got a lot deeper plenum a lot bigger runners inside they're a hell of a lot taller it actually wasn't a bad design intake plus it had that cool ass scorpion on it that was your first air gap Edelbrock intake anyway. The Holly Strip Dominator was an air gap also. They had some weird shit in the early 70s. I had a tarantula that was an air gap. It looked just like the Scorpion, but it had tarantula on it. And it didn't have these nubs sticking up here. It was just smooth but it had the air gap just like that scorpion so it was some kind of transitional intake i don't think they made very many of them the fucking scorpions are pretty rare these days they 76 to about 78 79 when they made them they went through a couple of changes too during those few years. There's a couple of different scorpions. One of them looks identical to a Victor Jr., but it has the scorpion and shit on it. This is the first design scorpion, 76. And it's still, the Holly Strip Dominator was still better made more power on the same engine so the later 70s Edelbrock went back to the drawing board come out with the Victor Jr. classic Victor Jr. that everybody loves that's a good intake I think it come about 79 when it hit the scene they were pretty fucking good, especially back then. 
and the plume and shit look similar to the scorpion actually in depth and height of the runners and shit. The big junior did pretty good. But it still came up short against the strip dominator Holly. So they come up with several variations of the Victor Junior and Victor E, Victor Four Plus Four, Victor Bowtie. But they all basically look like these Victor Juniors here. They're Victor Junior tall. That's what this fucker is. Let me put some more plenum in there to let her breathe a little better. Larger cubic inch engines and shit. Make this intake here come about in the later 80s. The Edelbrock made a street master single plane that wasn't worth a fuck. It was made in the 70s, supposed to have been a, for economy, but it was rated at 1500 to 5500 RPM range, and it was probably the shittiest single plane intake ever made by anybody. I don't have one of them, and if I did, I'd use it for a fucking a wheel chop. Then you got your Super Victors. I got a Super Victor 4150 flange. A modern one that's like a year old on my truck I drive. This is a 2003 4500 Super Victor 2970 for a Dominator. And that fucker's got plenum for days. And the intake's fucking tall as hell. I think those intakes flow like 308, 310 CFM out of the box. So their only intake flows better is a Super Victor 2. I don't have one of those yet. collection eventually this is a pretty good fucking intake here it's a 2003 when it hit the scene which the super victor first came out in like 99 and they they were good intake but they wasn't that they wasn't as good as they could be the Holly Strip Dominator still made more power on the same engine in a head to head comparison. So Edelbrock took that Super Victor and they thinned up the dividers and shit, redesigned it a little bit and come out with the revised version. That's the ones they sell now. And it actually is better than the Strip Dominator. Finally, it only took them like 40 fucking years to catch up to the Holly, or 30 years, but yeah. Little Brock makes pretty good intake manifolds. I've been using them for fucking ever. They got something pretty much for whatever the hell you need. Funny though, you look throughout the years and they just kept getting, the plumes kept getting bigger, the runners kept getting bigger, the intakes kept getting taller, to the point you got this fucking monstrosity. And that Super Victor 2, it's about that tall or maybe a touch taller half an inch taller. I get one probably near future. But it's just a few of my small block Chevy intake.
Edelbrock small block Chevy intakes. I prefer single planes on most of the engines I build. I don't build too many 300 horse gas miser type shit. No fun in that. But they all got their place. Every one of these intakes is good in its intended application. I always liked these old scorpions when I was a young buck. I always wanted one. I wanted to paint that scorpion red. I seen that Chevy 2 Nova back in the day. It had a nasty 406 in it with a scorpion intake on it. That fucker, it was a low 10 second street car. It had an old scorpion intake on it. So they do, they do work. They're pretty damn rare. It's like a fucking collector's item now. So they only made them a couple of years and they didn't make a whole hell of a lot of them then. That would probably be your first modern style little Brock single plane. What well, led to the Victor lineup? But there you go. The evolution of the Edelbrock intakes. <laughs>